Hey guys, it's Tara. Welcome back to Tara's Take or welcome for the first time to the channel. Um, today we're going to play with some Tina Papers. Shabby Dabby Doo Dah. Um, this is a design team project and I am going to pull from these lovely papers that she sent me. And um, we're going to have a little bit of fun. I'm just going to make some um, something kind of cool today. I, they're, they're just little little thing little thing I don't want to make it build it up too big just little notepads but I was gonna do them as skinny notepads and I made a little mistake here so I just glued in a piece of paper <laughs> and glued this over the thing but um just little mini pads out of these and what I thought I would do is do different sizes so like <clears throat> let me grab I want to do the right type of paper. Now what I did was some of these are coffee dyed, just in case you see how bumpy some of them are. Um, so this batch is coffee dyed and then this batch is printed on the back. Okay. So I am going to grab, let's see. Um, I was looking, yeah, stuff that's more collage-y. <laughs> collage <-y. laughs> I was thinking that we could do some wider and so, I mean some bigger and some um, not wider but bigger and then some smaller so the ones that are going to be bigger we're going to do at this angle the ones that we're going to do smaller are going to be at this angle okay so I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors what did I do here here they are I knew I had a pair out and I'm going to cut some uh, and I am doing these as skinny pads notepads so I'm going to do right here Totally cut that crooked. I can see it. I bet you guys can see it. I'm just going to try to straighten that out a little bit. Well, you know what? When I fold it, it'll be fine. So what you're going to you're gonna need today is I've got my ruler so that I can do some tearing on my paper, but I might pull out my cutter. I'm not sure because it might be easier to just do it that way. Um, but I've got a ruler in case I do do some tearing. I've got my scissors. I have my... Um, bone folder. I have some glue if I need it and I have my stapler because I'm going to be stapling them. I'll show you on the inside and then we can do like a little lace or something here to cover it or you can sew these in. I just have such a hassle pulling my sewing machine out. You guys know my story so I don't need to go into it but let's see. We could do like this. Right. I'll show you. So like this little piece here I could just go like that and then they're covered and it's cute so maybe we'll just do that really quick and finish that one off like that <clears throat> flip this around put a little bit of glue little dabble do ya and just cover those staples so if you don't like the way the staples look easy peasy there you go they're covered so this is a little cutie patootie, right? And they just tuck, they'll just tuck right into pockets or tuck spots, you know, or you can glue them in too, um, however you wanna do them. So yeah, let's get started. I am gonna do some cutting on this paper. I'm gonna be, I'll be doing a little measuring, not technically measuring. I'm just gonna be using a pencil and marking my spot where I wanna cut it. So I'm not gonna be real technical about it, but. Um, I'll be making sure that when I fold this, like my paper will come in just slightly on both sides, you know. Okay, so all we're going to do is flip this upside down, okay, and we're going to fold this up like so. I want it a little higher than that. Let's see. Yeah, and I'm going to try a trick. I don't know how great it'll work for me. But I am going to try a trick that I saw Natasha do in a video. And we're going to leave a little bit of space here so that, you know, you've got some wiggle room when you oh, when you close this for your paper. So you need to, you know, give it that tiny little bit of um, room so it's not right up flush, okay? So it's, you know, it's not flush on top of there. Okay. Bummer. I was hoping this part would be in the front, but it's not. Oh, well. So... I'm going to trim this down because I can see where I was crooked. Okay. And there is that. Now, 
all I'll need to do now is, and the fun part is like with a piece of paper, you know, you can get different pictures if it's a paper like it's got a lot of different parts to it. So that's going to be the fun thing too. I won't have to use a ton of papers because I will be able to get quite a bit out of the ones that I pull from. And then on your paper, I'm going to, I've got some different ones. I've got some um, food colors. I've got some avocado dyed. I've got some coffee dyed. I just, I just grabbed, you know, some papers and you don't need a lot of paper. Let's see, because this is pink. I think I'll use that avocado. Yeah. Okay. And all right. Okay. So what I did was I just went like this and kind of got an idea of where I want to cut this like this. And you can, like I said, you can tear it or you can cut it. I actually, um, yeah, I was gonna say, I think I might cut it. For me, I don't usually pull my cutter out, but I think it might be a little bit easier on me. And I'm, I'm not even getting up to get my other one. I'm just gonna use this one. Okay, so it's right about there. Straighten this out. Yep. Okay, and then I'm just going to use this, grab my pencil, and um, make another little line. And then I know I'm off a little bit on my line there, but oh well. Make another little line. There. And one last cut. You know how bad I am at doing even cuts with my cutter, so you already can guess that this is going to be slightly off because that's me. <laughs> now, I'm not going to cut more paper right now simply because, and you could use this at smaller piece, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to use or do more cutting right this second because every one of these will probably be a little bit different in width. Okay, so. I didn't do too bad on my cutting. I did go off some. <clears throat> I can already see right here. I'll just use these other pages to kind of... And like I said, you can do trim. You know, you can trim or whatever. I think I just don't, like, do this often enough to be really good at these, like, little notepads and stuff. I have a tendency to not be that great at these. And I think that's why. So now I'm just going to go ahead and... Bring that up slightly. Okay, so I know where to cut it. And of course my fold is crooked because, because it's me. <laughs> and so I'm not gonna worry that these aren't, you know, like, oh, 100% even or whatever. And I might make this one a little bit thicker. I don't know, let's see. How do we wanna do this? Cause this will be a pretty thick little notepad if I use all these pieces. I don't need to use all of them. Let me see, we'll use one, two, three, stop folding over, four, five, six, six should do the trick. How many do I have total? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay, cool, I have 12, so that's perfect. So I'm just going to kind of put that skinnier one right there in the center, and we're just going to bring this in and staple it, okay? Okay. All right. I'm just going right up to the edge there. Oh man, my staple. This stapler does that. It's cheap. Dang it, I need a 
here. Oh, cool. I actually keep this around and I never have to use it hardly ever because I don't staple a lot of stuff. But I have seen this, this stapler kind of wreck stuff at times <laughs> before. So I learned to keep it around just in case. And then it'll do it just perfect, you know. It's just moody, I guess. Anyways, so I went over a little bit with my paper right here. Okay. And a little bit down here, so I'm just going to trim. I'm not going to worry about it. There we go. And there's our little thing. Okay. Now, what I was going to say, I, I saw Natasha do this cute little trick, and I thought I might give it a try. You guys may have seen her do it. I, I was just watching some of her videos this week. I actually haven't watched her in a while. And and I saw this little trick and I was like, oh, I should try that. So we'll see how good I do it, okay? I'm gonna get my centering. Uh, I remember her saying she likes to center stuff and I was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So we are going to, <laughs> we are gonna center this here. Let's see, where are we? That's about right. Yeah, so about right there is your center. Okay, and then down here. Okay, do a little dot right here, a little dot right here. I think I did it right. I don't know. Anyway, and then she cut it like that. And she cut it like that. Okay. I am definitely going to um, trim this because it's getting in the way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And then she took her knife. And I'm going to grab my little, here it is, my little cutting board here. Okay, and again, she kind of gave herself a little mark, like that, well, actually, she used her ruler, okay, I'm going to try and get this even here, let's see if I can do it right. Where did I put my little line? I, can, I can't see it anymore. It was so minuscule. And when you measure this, um, make sure that you give yourself enough. I'm just doing two little dots right there. Make sure you give yourself enough room here to put the whole thing into the slot. So. We're making a little tiny slot. Okay, where are my lines? Okay, there they are. I was like, oh, okay, great. Now I'm just gonna use this again and guide myself here. Sorry, I made them so light I can barely stop. Let me see. Oh, there it is. And there it is, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna take the ruler and it almost seems crooked to me. Okay. And we're just going to go like this. Okay. All right. I got a little slot. See? And then you take it and it gives you a place to tuck that into. Okay. I need to go, I think I need to go just a little bit wider. So I'm just going to kind of poke right there. Oh, right there. And then I do want to um, grab a piece of paper and I'm going to go in here and do a little bit of distressing right here. Where's my... Okay. So it kind of stands out and you can see it a little bit there. Just put that in there and do the other side. Okay. There, and now you'll be able to see your little slot, and then we're gonna go ahead and might as well do this part. Yeah, I thought that was really cute, and then of course you can do it like 
we did this, I did this one. I like that off to the side because this man was here in this picture and I just thought, I don't want to cover him up. So I did the closure to the side. So that's the only reason. I just liked how he looked and I didn't want to mess him up. Okay. And of course you can do the inside too. And we could even, let's see, we could even make these corners pretty. Uh, let me see, which one do I want? I go with that one. So these are fun little little cutie pies and you just stick that in there and there you go you've got a little cute notebook and closure to put into your pockets in your junk journals okay so that's one way and then I'll do another one like this okay let's see and I'll make a few today because I wanted to have some put away for my journals um, just grabbing a piece of paper here again if I want to use the same one or possibly I want to do I think I want to try and look I'm looking here for one that I can cut at a sideways angle actually that'll look good these are all horizontal and so I'm I've been thinking about that in my own kits lately and when I I do all the horizontal stuff because I do it so that you can put it in the journal, you know, side by side. And then I've realized, you know, lately I'm like, hmm, maybe I should, I, I try to do a few pages that don't have any particular directional thing on them. They're more, um, here's a good one. They're more, oh no, never mind. That's a really thin paper. I did some of these on a thinner paper. Um, anyway, but I've been um, trying to make some in my kits that have more of like they're just floral patterns or just different patterns where you don't have to have it go one way or the other now I like this one so I'm gonna use this and I think oh, go ahead and remember these are today I'm just doing them skinny um, that was my goal skinny notepads but you could also do them thicker like you could you know you can make your notepads as thick as you want I personally am gonna make mine thinner and this one's gonna be taller, so. Okay. I might cut this down into a couple of these, just for fun, so they're already. What do I have right here? Oh, <laughs> okay. I have my dauber right there. I'm like, why is that not going down? Oops, I almost cut that. Okay. All right, so these could even be sideways if I wanted them to be, but I will see. This one's the one I want to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my edges real quick. Get that part done, and then that way I don't have to worry about it. Now I'm probably going to cut this one uh, with my other punch and make it like at the angle type I did before on the other one I like that or I might go ahead and put the pretty thing on the top flap so I don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see okay so this one's gonna be a longer taller one so I'm just looking here because this paper the way oh that would look pretty right there but maybe a, let me check let me just check Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll do it like this. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up. Hmm. Okay, so this is my good edge I'm using to navigate myself. Little bit. 
Tara, Tara. Okay. Now I'm gonna give myself a little room. I'm just using my fingernail right here and kind of just bending it there so I have that little tiny gap for my paper. And in this one, I'm gonna use coffee dyed paper, I think. Okay, fold right, come on. There we go. Even though I used the cutter, it's still, look at that. I'm telling you, I don't know if it's just me or, probably it's just me. <laughs> anyway, I won't, I won't even ask, it's just me. I'm bad with the cutter. <laughs> And look at that, see, even on this side, I can see it hanging over a little bit. That's funny. So I actually, today is still Wednesday of uh, last week. I actually got to do two videos in one day, yay. I had the energy and, and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a second video, praise God. So here we are. And I still see where that's not quite right. Okay, so we finished off um, that last one with the, the triangle at the base. I really like these. I think that's a lot of fun, but I also love doing it like that. So this time I think I will use this punch and make a pretty on the edges. Okay, I think we'll do that one. Okay, I love these punches. If you didn't see um, Friday's video, I got them on Amazon and they're a set, I'll show you guys just so. I, they're a set of three and I got them for $13.99. I think that's how much they cost. But I stuck them in my uh, Amazon list down below in the description of the video, you'll find it there. And so that you guys could get them if you liked them. I've, I love having different corners. I've been meaning to get these forever, but I didn't ever see them in a full set by themselves for that low a price. And so, yeah, I was super excited about that. You know what? I think I'll do that corner thing here too. Just so, since I'm not going to be doing the slit or anything, so it'll match. But anyway, yeah, so I was really excited to get the different ones. I think I threw that one away, honestly. It was getting dull, and I was having to do the whole aluminum foil thing and stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I accidentally threw it away because I can't find it anywhere. And if it fell into my garbage can and I didn't realize it, and then Cordy, and it was heavy, so it would have fallen, like, probably to the bottom. And then Cordy always dumps my trash, and he, probably, he wouldn't have seen it, you know. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I may come across it, but guys, I've looked everywhere. <laughs> like I said, I've looked everywhere. Okay. So on this one, I think I'll try and see how good I do on tearing my paper. And I'm going to use the coffee dyed paper this time because of this paper color. I think it'll look good. This one already has a tear right there. So maybe I'll use the other piece. I have some more here. Oh, this one's got like um, clouds on it. This is some of Alex's old paper. My late husband, he used to use for his letters. So yeah, I'll use this. Um, I'm gonna do the ruler bit. You know me, I'm not very good at that either. So anything that that includes me measuring, I have it. I think I'll just try and fold. Anything that includes me measuring stuff tends to get a little bit messed up. It's not like I'm telling you guys anything you don't know. And this paper, I baked it when I did it. And um, so some of the edges are like baked. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fold and then I'm gonna tear on those fold lines and hopefully get it sort of right. I don't know, we'll see, right? I'm off anyway, I can already tell. Look at me, <laughs> look at me, look at me, you guys. It's, it's shocking. I was doing this by myself on the other one, and I was just like, Tara, I try not to castigate myself, you know, ball myself out and stuff, but I'm like, seriously, honey, you really, you just really, you don't do a good job at this. And uh, I was just laughing because I'm like, hey, you always end up messing up everything you try to measure, everything. <laughs> and then when I get on camera, 
It's not that I feel nervous, but I think I get anxious and I try to hurry and I mess it up more. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, so <laughs> I'm just glad you guys, you guys are so kind and you tolerate my goofiness. I forget, see, I need to go from this side because it'll be easier to tear. I hope. We'll see. I'm not going to use that one because it's super duper skinny. Okay. I'm trying to see the line. So even with a line, I struggle. But it is a little bit easier than trying to measure it every time. It's shadowed there, and I just can't see where it's at. So hopefully, I'm on the right spot. We'll see. Okay. Now, this is longer, so I may have to. Oh, wait, I need to do it from there, not there. Yep. You want to make sure and get that above the line where it folds because otherwise it'll it'll get in the way of your fold. And I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and can I cut the can I tear this or will I mess this up? Let's see. Okay. Did it. All right, so what I think I might even do is go. I'm not even, I don't even think I'm gonna tear again. I think I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna trim this. I'm gonna have to because it's too, it's just slightly too long, but that's okay. I'm just cutting it right there on that fold. So that should give me that space I need down here. Yep, it sure did. Okay, and I'm also gonna trim this edge right here okay all right this one's cute i like this where's my stapler ah. sorry just trying to get this even get the Tim Holtz um, tiny attacher but I just haven't budgeted for it okay so see even though it's still a little bit thick right through there oh that one's gonna be pretty though I like that Let's get rid of this stuff and now I'll pick a little let's see we'll do a little fussy cut thing out of our drawer here how about one of Tina's little round flowers Got a bunch of those in here. Actually, this one looks better than that one. Or I could use one of my little, nah, it's too bright a pink. It needs to be peachier for that. I think I'll use that one. I think it'll be fine. And I'm just going to darken it a little bit. Maybe even just a slightly bit on the brightness of that of bring it around maybe throw in a little gold around this edge for fun so these are super easy and little cutie pies to go into our journals and now this one I might put to this side so that you can see that rose yeah I think I will and I'm gonna bring it down slightly do Tina's little trick Grab my glue. You know, as a matter of fact, I might use my tacky glue so I make sure I have time for it to move around. If I use the other, it has a tendency. 
to dry too fast. So I always do this for the most part so that it doesn't move and make a mess on whatever I'm gluing it to. Okay. There we go. So there's that one. Oh, it's still glued it a little bit. Uh-oh. <laughs> I did it. Is that it? No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. So you have your little closure there. Oh, it did. Look it. I can see it right there. It did. It did grab it. Dang it. Tried not to, but it still did it. So we'll just kind of let that sit for a second. Yep. I gotta pull it back anyway, so it doesn't do that. So I'll let it dry without anything on there, and let's do another one. Hmm. This one's a little bit wider. Go ahead and, oops. Just quickly distress this edge. Don't know how I'm gonna do this one yet. I might do that triangle again. I do like the way that one came out. It's a clean little closure. I enjoy that. Not sure which end I'm going to use yet, but I will probably make this. I don't know because I don't want to cut away the flower if I'm going to do the triangle, but oh, we'll see. Right? We'll see. Who knows? So this piece will be a tiny bit wider. Now, do we want to do it like that? Do we want, I think I want this side up there and that side as my closure. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead and hmm, I think I'll bring it about right there. I think that's good. I just do a little bend with my nail there so I have some room to kind of, like I said, so it doesn't go right down on top of it because then you've got room for your paper. That's all. Hmm, that's pretty. I like the flower, so I'm not really sure if I want to cut it away. Uh, what would it look like? It would still show. I really do like that little triangle one, the closure when you tuck it in. That's fun. A little bit different, you know. Miss Natasha, she's always doing something different, a little bit fun, you know. She comes up with the most cute ideas. And even if she didn't originate the idea, you know, she brings us a lot of them, right? <laughs> a lot of fun stuff. Her and Pam and Tina, there and, and Gail, those... Those are probably my four favorites of the ones that have been around for a long time. Um, well, I also like Barbara, and I like uh, from 49 Dragonflies, and I love um, Joy Defee, but she hasn't really been making any videos recently. Who am I kidding? I have a list of probably... I would say I have a list of probably over 200 crafters on my my YouTube that I'm that I'm subscribed to. So <laughs> I am gonna do the triangle. I just really like it. I think it's fun. So we're gonna do it, and I just gotta get in here and figure out where zero is. Okay, about right there. So I'll put my dot right there. And then I'm going to, see, let's make it a straight one here so I have something to really bounce off of. I think I'll make it from about here. Yeah, I'm going to end up cutting into that flower pretty good. But you know what? It's okay. So we're going to go, just want to make sure I'm straight. I'll go 
there, we'll go there. Can I even see what I just did? It is still there. Good. I thought I was going to end up cutting that off completely. Okay. All right. Now, the fun part, figuring out where the slot goes. So we want it to tuck in. So I'm going to do it at about, right, put this on here straight so I have a straight angle I'm working with. Okay, so I'll probably be yeah, about right there. That would be good, right? Yeah. So I'm going to mark it and mark it. And I'm probably going to have to, probably going to have to um, erase some of that. I think I went too far. Oh well, it'll be distressed. I'm not going to worry about it. go. Oops, I didn't grab my cutter board. Oh well, I'll be fine. Okay. Wait, where's my line? Sorry, I gotta, there we go. Can't really see it. There, okay. Oh, I went crooked. Uh, son of a gun. Dag on it, T. I sure did. Okay, look at that. I cut that first part. So, huh, you know me, I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, you guys. I'll make sure it's in the right spot. Oh, gosh. Got to tear this open. That jacked me up a little bit. Okay. I am so irritated. That's because I didn't have my cutting board, right? There we go. Okay, well... Here's what we're going to do. We are going to, huh, we'll put something there. I don't know. Let's put, we'll put a little, here. I'm just going to put this right here. God's unwavering love. All right. I'm going to glue that on top of where I accidentally cut. And then there'll just be this beautiful message inside of the little notebook. Letting people know God's love is unwavering and he loves you. Praise God. Amen. So, okay. So, there's my glue. Okay, there we are. Just right above it, where that little slit, where I just accidentally went too far off. And then I think my, I think everything's good. We're still open. Yep, okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. Grab a piece of paper. Let's do my little distress there. All right. So that you can see there's something there. All right. Fixed. All fixed. Now we do our paper. Let's see. Which one do we want to use this time? Let's use one of these wonky ones. These are fun. They look a little weird. I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm just going to fold um, and then tear along the fold. It wasn't totally perfect, but I think it worked better for me than trying to do it the way I was doing it. So I'm getting too jammed up over here. See that? Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Got to put some things away. 
if we do another skinny one, what time is it? I'll probably decorate one now. These are cute and they are decoratable. Okay, stop, Tara. <laughs> I'm struggling because that piece is like rolled up on one side and um, there. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is hold this on the back. And I think I'll just fold it like this. Or maybe I'll go this way. This is too short, but it's okay because it's thick enough. It'll give me that extra piece. And then I'm gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. And then bring it up. A little bit more than I did last time, so I don't have to do so much trimming. I think that'll work, I hope. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this end off. It's a bummer, I folded it the wrong direction because this was the more fun part. That'll be a cool, um, what do you call it? It'll be a cool uh, scrap to play with. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to tear them. <laughs> oh, you know what? I bet. Okay, let's see. Oh, good, yeah. I kind of thought this paper's pretty thin. It's just copy paper. Perfect. Okay. I feel like I was going to tell you guys something and then I forgot what it was. There. All right. Not bad. These are cute. I love little notepads. I never make them because I don't know why. I hardly ever make them, but I actually like them. Now I'm not sure how this is uneven, but it is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a little bit more off of here. Cause, you know, it's me. I mean and we know it's me. <laughs> Whatever it happened to make it uneven, it's definitely something I did, but it's okay. I'm okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, I feel like I was gonna tell you guys something and I don't remember what. Hmm. Oh well. So we finished watching Young Sheldon and till season seven comes on Netflix because that, and they said online, that won't be until like the end of the year, beginning of next year, which I was bummed because it kind of, of course, left us on a, a note of, you know, what's going to happen kind of thing. Georgie and if you guys watch it, you know, Georgie and, and Mandy are getting married. Um, and uh, Missy's getting into all kinds of trouble. And Sheldon went to Germany and <laughs> with his mom for his schooling. And so, yeah, all, left it with all kinds of stuff going on. And there was a huge tornado. And, yeah, so got to see what happens. But So then we started watching um, The Middle. And we had watched that before, but I think I'm going to put... A this on here. I like this for these. This is a cute little thing. A little strip of flowers works kind of perfect. Um, so yeah, we watched The Middle, which is fun. Silly show, but it's cute. It's that poor woman. and I mean, between her kids, if you ever watch The Middle, Frankie and Mike and, and their kids, uh, what is it? Axel. Oh, I can't think of the daughter's name. And Brick, the son. Between those kids and her husband, man, that poor woman. She about loses her mind at times. <laughs> Boy, I'm sure some of us can relate. Okay. There we go. Okay, the flowers threw it off a little bit. Let me bring those down. Or maybe it's the... Maybe. Let's see. Nah, they'll be okay. 
tuck. There we go. It's a bummer because I need this sticking out on the ends, but it's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it. So I did three with you guys and, and probably could have done more if I wasn't so, you know, me. But um, we've got the tuck, we've got this kind that has like your little slats. We have this kind with the little sweet corners and we have this one and this one that tuck in. So I think we're gonna decorate this little guy. I think so, I think so. And I'm gonna grab my little people. I um, I kind of think I might put a little person on here. I wish, I wish they did these packets in, I know it's silly, but I wish they did like single packets and well, she's so cute. I'm gonna use her just cause she's adorable. Um, you know, I wish you could buy them like men, women, children, animals, that kind of stuff. Tim Holtz, if you ever hear this, suggest that. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to wipe some of that off. I know it's very bright. I like to yellow. I, I mean, I mention this all the time. You guys who know me know what I'm doing. But for anybody who's new, I like to kind of yellow or get that sapia almost yellowed aged look. I don't like the bright white and black I, or black and white. I just don't think it looks that great. So I always do a little bit of vintage photo. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Duh. Cause you know, I want to do my little, little place for her to stand. Shucks. We're just going to give her a little spot right here. Let me grab my brush. Hopefully that glue won't dry. If it does, oh well. Get a little water. There. Okay. Just grab that and make a little bit of pavement for her to be standing on. Or cobblestone, whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Just a platform for her to not be floating in midair. There we go. I think... I think, I think the glue is still wet. Let's try it. Oh, yay. Okay. And let's see. Can we do this here? <clears throat> Maybe up here. I don't know. I think down at the bottom it might look kind of cute. Right there. So I'm going to do it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it. I'm just grabbing what is on my desk. To decorate instead of you know doing like I normally do and pulling from all these different places and getting up and looking for stuff and, and then on the top here I think I'll do a little bow because um, she's a girl she's a cute little girl and I think maybe a little bow would look cute on here I've got to get the right color though hmm. You know what? Maybe I will use one of the larger bows because I could do it kind of like a little up there. Yep, I think I will. I'm just doing the very edges so that it kind of, and I always do this with the bows so I get that center part. Just getting that white, you know, so it's not so bright. And then I'm going to do just a little bit of gold around this edge just for fun. And because I can't help myself, I love gold. Y'all know I can't help it. I remember there for a little while I didn't use gold and one of you spoke up and was like, why haven't you been using gold? <laughs> and I was like, I know, I'm, I'm crazy. So I'm gonna put that like right in the center. Okay, and let's do, I don't know, let's put a little something here. La la la, la 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 la. Hmm, let's do 
do this one. The happiest moment. Why not? Grab this and Now I'm thinking I will tr cut this, which is what I usually end up doing with these little guys, to just give it a little bit of, you know, different look, but also because on this one I think that the actual, where do I want to put this, right here, yeah I think I'll do it right there. Um, because this one's not wide enough, because these are skinny no these are skinny notebooks, notebooks, not notebooks, notepads, and so I think it'll be better to have it here, half cut in half. And and we want to put a little bit of bling, little bit of bling. Come on. The happiest moment. It was the happiest moment of her life. Up until now. Since she's only about five years old. <laughs> she's got a few more to go. Um, let's grab our, our lovely Diamante, of course. We want to give the ribbon a touch of pizzazz. I'm just going to snip like all those strings off of that end. I like to try and when I cut these off, cut them so that like I don't have to do as much work to get those little pieces of string, you know? Let me see. Just one spot here it looks like. Okay, there we go. So this is a pink one, which I think will be cute on this, because this bow is kind of an off maroonish look. Um, I printed out, um, I have both of Tina's kits, and so I printed out the neutral, because I had the bright, all the bright bows. I printed out the neutral, and that's what I've been cutting Cutting for days. Seriously, I've been cutting umbrellas and bows. Check this out, you guys. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Do you know how much it took to cut these umbrellas? Oh my goodness, look at them. And look at some of these, they're so tiny. Oh my goodness, these little guys. Ah! Cordy, oh and this one, this, these really small ones. Cordy was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I said, I know, right? So, I don't know about y'all, but I really like how this little baby turned out. So, it's just open up, and you got your writing space. I think it definitely needs lace right there, just to kind of, or something. Let's see, what do I got? Do I have some small lace? Just to kind of, I moved everything. I mean, I moved a lot of stuff, darlings. Oh, you know what? I do have this bag of, like... Do they call these, what, textiles or something? Like these little, all these ribbons and stuff? This one would be good. It's thin enough. Excuse me, I have, I have the hiccups. Yeah, I'm going to use, I think I'll use this one. Oh, it's actually, it's kind of thick. Um, maybe a tiny, tiny bit thinner one. This one's really thin. Let's see. Would it work? Just to cover these. I just want them... Covered. Nope, it's there. <laughs> I can't get it to cover them. Nah, I think this one will look better. I'm going to use this. So it'll be a little bit thick, but that's okay. Here we go. And we're just going to go right across the staples. Yep. Okay. Trim. Come on. I can't get it up there. 
I knew you could see it over the edge. We want to make sure we can't. There we go. At least I want to make sure I can't see it. It's totally up to you what you do with yours. There we go. All right. So there she is. Isn't it sweet? I love it. I think it really looks so adorable. Especially on Miss Tina's beautiful papers. Praise God. So I gotta be honest, I'm not sure about the name of this kit. Natalie sends these to me, Tina's sister. And um, they're not always named, I don't think they're named exactly what they're named in the shop sometimes. Let me check really quick and see if I can pull open the folder and see it. So I can let you guys know. I'm gonna link, of course, her shop and her um, channel in the thing in the description below. Let me look here. Um, let's see. Those are from this particular paper. Mm, nope, not that one. It's the other one. It's a French kit. Um, it's the French kit. Okay. I'm not certain. Or no, 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 no. I apologize. It's. I think it's this one. Oh gosh. Which one is it? Oh, I found it. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the it's one of her French kits. Okay? And so the papers look I'll grab the papers so you can kind of see. Um let's see which so these are so that you're looking Okay. They're gorgeous, right? Look at that. And this is another one that's French kit. Aren't they pretty? Beautiful. So I will link everything um, for her shop and for her channel down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed these and that you give them a go. I'm sure you've done them before. No big deal. They were just a fun little project I thought would be fun to make with Tina's papers. Because, like I said, look at that background. They're just beautiful for it. So I love you guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and um, come hang out with me again on Friday. And then if you want, come hang out with me on Kingdom Devotion. There's a link in the um, channel description. And we'll do devotions together. And I, uh, I love you. You guys have a blessed day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.